since I first came out, I volunteered for Block Arama. Mm -hmm. And there were years where initially we were at the stage at Wellesley Station across from across from Wellesley Station in that parking lot, right? Mm -hmm. And then one year out of the blue, saying nothing to the group that was running Block Arama, they got we got moved to the parking lot behind the the, the beer store, mm -hmm. which oh. as as most people know, the crowd that comes out to Block Arama in it's no huge. way, shape, or form can see yeah, it's safely, huge. It, right? It cannot safely exist in that small parking lot. It can't. Yeah. And what was happening? Injuries happened. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it was hard for paramedics to even get in. And as well, Block Arama being a space that was geared as a family oriented space, they never sold alcohol. That was never a mm -hmm. thing. So to put Block Arama in a space behind a beer store wasn't exactly a, a it didn't work with what um, Block Arama's mission was and what their intents were, right? And okay. then got moved to a par another parquet after the year, year, the year after that, and consistently mm -hmm. moved instead of finding a way to actually sit down and work with the people that block that run Block Arama. They didn't say anything; they would just move people left, right, and center. So I think part of what BLM was trying to do was to to have everybody be able to actually sit at the same table and discuss. Is the way that they went about it the right way? I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Okay. But what it was, it was a way that historically, a lot of groups have used in order to get their message across. Regardless of where it is in the world, a lot of groups have done that, right? So, I have two questions. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... Put a, hopefully I get them in the right order. Mm -hmm. um, why not target the companies themselves? Why target the celebration of Fry? Mm -hmm. Why do you think they targeted the celebration instead of this? TDs are on every corner. Mm -hmm. These different places are that are that support Fry are on every corner. Why not target their businesses? Why target the celebration of Fry? I think I think a part of the reason as to why um, the choice was to target Pride specifically, and I could be wrong because I'm not part of BLM, but okay. I think a part of the reason is because of the fact that Pride in and of itself is meant to serve the community, okay. right? And in, in a way that, that corporations are not able to, are not equipped to, and were never set up to, right? Pride was set up as a community thing. It was a community that started Pride. So I think it's a way of reminding Pride to get back to how they started and it being a community-centered thing and focused on community and less about necessarily a lot of financial support that they might get from corporations. It's still important to encourage the community to still be involved and speak out on behalf of the community because the reality is that Pride in and of itself is what people look at first. The rest of the world doesn't look at block -orama. The rest of the world mm -hmm. doesn't look at the South Asian stage. The rest of the world looks at pride, okay. right? That's mm -hmm. how people see it. It, it. They look at pride. That's the reality of it, right? So okay. pride for people speaks for everything. All right. Now, for me, the I'm going to ask you this question. I don't want to give my opinion because my opinion is 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 not relevant in our conversation for now. But it's your opinion that I I, I it's really I I I have a, I have more um, understanding from your point of view. Now, do you think that Black Lives Matter accomplished anything besides media attention? from hijacking pride? I think they did accomplish actually a great deal. Um, out of, and I, I, I can't recall offhand all of the points on their list of what they wanted to accomplish, but mm -hmm. they accomplished quite a number of things. Um, a big thing for the community, for a lot of people in the community, was the, uh, the existence of police presence. And the reality is that historically, the police and the queer community have not always had the best relationship, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But historically, that's been the, the, the case. Whether it's through raids on bathhouses, whether it's through, you know, personal opinions of some people who have been part of the police force over the years towards gay people, even so much as recently 
with this with the this unfortunate situation where where we where there was a serial killer within the, that was targeting people in the community the initial response from the police was not something that people felt supported by the police right mm -hmm. in that way so if an entire community is saying to you hey this is our concern and your job is to serve and to protect then mm -hmm. how are you serving if you're not if you're not honoring the the the, the, the concerns of your community that you're supposed to serve right Mm -hmm. So for a lot of people, we have a lot of people in the community have a negative response to seeing police uniforms, whether it's due to how police have shown up in the communities and intersections that people have taken a part of. Um, but I think that was a big trigger for, for a lot of people. So it's important for them not to have that in the in the in, in the parade. Did they accomplish mm -hmm. that the following year? There wasn't any police in the parade. Are police still around? Of course, because their job, again, is to serve and protect. Mm -hmm. Do they necessarily need a float to be able to do their job? Not necessarily, because without a float or with a float, if you have men who are, uh, and women who are hired to stand around and serve the community and protect the community from any outside danger, then they're still doing their job, right? Mm -hmm. So in that way, they, they did manage to do something in that way. In terms of having a, a different kind of relationship and it being able to have stages like Block Harama receive a different level of funding to be able to pay their, 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 their performers better, that did happen, right? Mm -hmm. And would that necessarily have happened without BLM making it a thing that everybody now was able to see the problem? I mm -hmm. don't know. I can't say. Um, I'm not 100% sure because I don't know what the intentions necessarily had been of the people that were running Pride at that time. But at okay. that particular moment, that wasn't happening, right? Okay, um, I have a couple, of, a couple of questions and then we're gonna get off of the BLM because mm -hmm. um, um, I understand your, your, where, where you stand in it. Now, for me, the police needs to be in Pride. The police needs to be in any social gatherings where there's so many people to where we something might happen, no matter what might happen. We need visible police. People can't stand in a crowd and something is happening and they can't see someone that is the police, the officer of the law that they can see clearly that this is a policeman and he can help me. Mm -hmm. In plain clothes, you see no one. So in other words, if the police becomes invisible in pride, that means our safety is invisible. Mm. This is a concern for me. Two, I do not understand the, um, the entire interruption of pride staging a protest in a celebration. This is just my opinion. I think that it could have been handled differently and better. What I did find concerning after the fact, now BLM needs to be concerned about this. I watched City TV try to get an interview with BLM. They went to what they thought were offices and nothing existed. They couldn't knock on the door. They couldn't get a pamphlet. They couldn't get any information about this group and who was the leader of the group staging whatever the voice is that they wanted to be heard in pride. And I found that really concerning. How is it that you want this big voice and you have no office? Well, interestingly enough, I think... Um, police always have a presence, regardless. Even, like, they may not be plain clothes, but there are uniforms at every event, whether it's Caravana or whatever. Any big gathering, if police are present, you're aware that police are present. That's you a quick one. Let me, let, me, let, let me interrupt you real quick there. You said it just now. Caravana. Why didn't Black Lives Matter um, interrupt Caravana where they don't want us there? Where they they don't want homosexuals, they don't want any of the, of the rhetoric that you or what we're what our celebration or anything about us there. Why not target Caravana? 
Well, 